Hey everyone, Endort here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the Skype app crashes continuously on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to reset the app. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane make sure to click on apps and then on the right side click on apps and features. Now in here just click on the search box and simply type Skype and afterwards just find the Skype app and click on the three dots next to it. In here click on advanced options. In the advanced options window just scroll down until you find the reset section and you can start by clicking on the repair pot. In this case the app's data won't be affected, but if this step doesn't work you can proceed by pressing on the reset pot. In this case the app's data will be deleted and everything will be reset to the factory settings. Now you can check if the problem still persists. You can also run the Windows Troubleshooter. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane make sure to click on system and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot section and select it. Now click on other troubleshooters and then in here just scroll down until you find the Windows Store apps and click on the run button next to it. Now Windows will try to find any potential issues and fix them if possible. Another great solution is to install the media feature pack for Windows 11 and versions. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane click on apps and then on the right side click on optional features. Now click on the blue view features next to add an optional feature and then in here just search for the media feature pack and then click on the box next to it and then press on next to install it. You have to know that the feature is only available for the Windows 11 N versions as the other versions already have it installed by default along with other media applications. So that's why I showed you a similar example other than the media feature pack. And lastly another great solution is to reinstall Skype. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane click on apps and then on the right side click on apps and features. Now just click on the search apps box under the app list and simply type in Skype and afterwards just scroll down until you find the Skype software and click on the three dots next to it. Now select the uninstall option and after you uninstall Skype just restart your PC and try reinstalling it. You will then check if the problem still persists. And that's it, plenty of useful solutions. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.